We have a dusty, dirty Cirrus SR-22 aircraft here. Had a forced landing with two on board. Today, we're going to be going over the NTSB final report from March 28th, 2021. Loss of engine power. The aircraft took off from Tucson International Airport. And you can see it landed on this road here. Tried to use the parachute. But the parachute malfunctioned as well. So it had engine problems. You can see normal until about 10,000 feet. Then the pilot said that they started having uh, engine problems and the aircraft began to shake. So they tried to get back to the closest airport and ended up trying to pull the parachute at 2,000 feet. Tried it three times, did not work. Uh, very interesting. A lot of things going wrong, but the pilot ended up just landing it. Um, being a good pilot, it was this aircraft here, Cirrus SR-22 GTS November 644 Sierra uh, Romeo. And then here's some of the things that went wrong. You can see this crankshaft and all kind of problems. I'm not a mechanic, but here the number two connecting rod and piston were separated from the crankshaft. Left half of the bearings rotated. Things were overlapping and shifting. Um, inside of the engine, the corresponding main bearing seal was not positioned properly in the saddle. So it had lack of oil lubrication. And um, yeah, so all this kind of stuff, there was an inspection performed in April 20th of 2020. But anytime you got this kind of, I mean, crankshafts breaking and pieces grinding and uh, no lubrication, so things are heating up. You know, it's it's not a it's not a good day for for engines or the person flying. Here's the shrapnel from different pieces um, that they took from it. The number two connecting rod, piston pin, crankcase, and piston material. So that's just one thing that caused the engine to go down. And then they had this is the caps parachute. So you can see in here they have this a uh, squib with a bridge wire in here. So the bridge wire heats up and then there's powder. You can see the powder in here, the B1 and B3 powder. So as soon as that ignites, I guess it comes out of these holes and then that's what allows it um, to set off that rocket. Um, so it says it that revealed that the chute had been packed properly, but the motor initiating device, the squib was in up. So it was in an open circuit and not closed. So they're saying maybe that's what could have happened um but yeah i'm glad that this pilot was a good pilot because you had engine problems you had problems with the parachute and still uh, managed to put this thing down with relatively um uh, minor damage to the aircraft and also to themselves so ntsb probable cause is total loss of power resulting in catastrophic engine failure caused by a shift of the number two main bearing and bearing seal which resulted in oil starvation to the crankshaft the reason for the bearing and bearing seal shift could not be determined due to the extent of the engine damage um, contributing to the accident was the failure of the airframe parachute system to deploy due to undetermined inconsistencies with the ignition material in the rocket igniter assembly Hard for these NTSB um, to figure it out. Was a lot of this damage because of the crash or was it because um, prior to the crash? Was it the cause or was it um, from effect? So they have a, a hard job figuring these things out, but, you know, they try their best. And if you want to see more NTSB final reports, you can click here. If not, this is Arfred Amkione. I'll see you guys next time.